The Nicene Creed was first written in 325 AD at the Council of Nicaea. Later, the Council of Constantinople in 381 AD revised the creed to expand it with the addition of certain doctrines. In its original form, the creed was created in order to combat Arianism, a heresy which held that Jesus Christ is not the divine second person of the Trinity, but instead a created being. This is why the fathers included the phrase consubstantial with the Father, meaning that Jesus Christ is of one substance with the Father, meaning that both the Father and the Son, as well as the Holy Spirit, are all uncreated and are all equally God. This creed, along with the earlier Apostles' Creed, is still considered a hallmark of orthodoxy today, and continues to be said every Sunday in the Western Rite of the Church. In its current form in the Western Liturgy, the we and we believe in throughout is replaced with the more personal I. In the present reading, we will retain the original words of the Nicene Constantinople Creed. It is as follows. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things both visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all time, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not created, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For the sake of us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was made flesh by the Holy Spirit from the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for our sake under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried. And on the third day he arose according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of the Father, and is going to come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His reign will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. He proceeds from the Father and the Son, is adored and honored together with the Father and the Son. He spoke through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We profess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen.